Most other parties say they won't join an SDS coalition. This means that the job of forming a government may fall to the centre-left LMS party, which is trailing far behind in second place. I've been speaking to Taya Senchuk, who is a journalist there. She tells us more about the party topping the polls this election. Well, basically, SDS, um, that is run by Yanis Yansha, they turned uh, lately from the classical conservative uh, party into the populist right-wing party, and they're hopping on uh, this rising uh, boat, so to say, of populism that's also rising in the rest of the countries in the region. Um, they were kind of trying to present uh, the danger of the possible new wave of migrants. We have to remember that the, uh, from end of 2015 to 2016, the beginning, uh, almost half a million migrants passed through Slovenia that only has two million people. There, it was amazingly um, huge amount and people do remember that. And also, we must not forget that this atmosphere of fear for migrants was also caused, in a way, by the, um, by the former government, the left-center government, that uh, erected um, basically like a fence on the border with Croatia. And Janša was promising throughout the campaign, I will protect uh, Slovenia, uh, we will completely close the borders for the migrants, and that will make Slovenians safe. And uh, obviously, that worked. Well, for now, it is almost impossible for SDS to form a right-wing coalition or any kind of coalition for that matter. Uh, there is also quite hard for the center-left uh, parties to form a coalition, um, and we might end up in a deadlock.